Here we have a more complicated sequence. The sequence goes up by 10, then by 12, then by 14, then by 16. So it's not a linear sequence. It's not a quantity of n's plus or minus a number. However, I notice that the differences go up by 2 each time. So that tells me it's something to do with n squared. Now, n squared has the sequence 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. And clearly, if we look at the difference of that from the original sequence, we can see that we have a difference of 4, 11 to give 15, um, 18 to give 27, 25, which will give you the 41, and in this last case, 32, which will give us the 57. And this sequence, we can see, does go up by the same number each time. It goes up by 7 each time. And this sequence is the 7 times table, which is 7, 14, 21, 28, etc., but minus 3. So the nth term for this sequence is n squared added to 7n minus 3. Answer to part A. In part B, you've been asked to find the 10th term. So if I replace n with a 10, we have 100 add 70 minus the 3, the 10th term would be 167.